All right, joining me now here on the Matthew Filipovich Show is my friend Nagin Farsad. Nagin is a writer, an actress, a filmmaker, and a comedian whose work has been seen on MTV, Comedy Central, PBS, all over the place. And all of this and more you can find at naginfarsad.com. Nagin, thanks so much for being on the show. Thanks so much for having me. All right, so so Nagin, you're you're currently right now. You're in the middle of of a comedy tour, but it's actually not just any old comedy tour. This is a very specific and, 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 and distinct comedy tour. Tell us about it. Yeah, um, basically, it's called. Okay, so I'm on going on the second leg of the Muslims Are Coming tour, which is basically a bunch of Muslim American comedians going on the road. Uh, doing shows in places like uh, Birmingham, Alabama, uh, Tucson, uh, Arizona, Salt Lake City, (laughs) Utah, Idaho Falls, Idaho, you know, a bunch of places that, needless to say, love the muzzies. (laughs) <laughs> um, and uh, and so that the, the word uh, in, in this like actually specifically we're, we're doing Tucson Salt Lake and Idaho Falls, um, mm-hmm. and we we just got back a couple weeks ago from doing the South, and that was like you know a whole thing. Yeah, well, let's let's talk about let's talk about the the the. I mean, because this is a really interesting. Like, where where did this idea of doing this tour? Because it's also it's a tour, but you guys are also shooting uh, a documentary about it as well. What did, where did this whole idea of this specific tour come from? Well, um, so I like so this will actually be my third feature documentary film. Uh, it sounds like I'm bragging. I'm not. That's just factual. Deal with it. <laughs> um, and uh, we, so, so my last film about nerds is called Nerdcore Rising, like nerds who rap. And uh, and I remember looking at the premiere and said, "What's your next product?" And I said, "Um, I think I'm gonna try and do something about like." you know, my, me and the Muslims and stuff. And I, at that point, didn't have, didn't have like a fully formed idea what that was. But I had been working with Dean Obidala, um, who you may have seen on the Actions of Evil Comedy Central special um, and on The View and on other, you know, other TV shows and whatnot. Mm-hmm. Um, he's a regular contributor on CNN. And um, he's, all, he's, he's a wonderful comedian. We've worked together a whole bunch doing lots of ridiculous things. Uh, and we, we've just been talking about, like, you know, what the crazy, the crazy thing that happened in this country, which is we thought Islamophobia, like, let's say around 2006, 2007, it was like, oh, you know what, this Islamophobia thing, like, maybe it's dying down. Like, maybe it's not, yeah, maybe this Muslim hating was just like a, a post-9-11 phenomenon, and then, and now that we're, like, you know, out of the post, post-9-11 zone, mm-hmm. Um, we, you know, it's starting to go away and then it just sort of resurged and it resurged with a vengeance and I don't quite understand why. I mean, I attribute it to like, um, I think it sort of, it, there's, I think the election of Barack Obama and the accusation that he was a Muslim, heaven forbid, um, mm-hmm. was oh, like hold, a Hold on, hold on, hold on, again, are you trying to tell me Obama's not a Muslim? <laughs> Is that what you're saying? <laughs> <laughs> Well, I mean, I can't, I can't give away secrets of our brotherhood, but um, I can say that uh, I think that that was one of the contributing factors to, the, to this kind of upsurge in Islamophobia, because right after that, there was like the Park 51, uh, mosque in Lower Manhattan um, controversies, and there was mosque controversies that popped up all over the country. Suddenly, every state had its own fun mosque controversy. And so um, I think like these these collective things. And of course, now we're in an election season where some candidates have taken upon themselves to use um, Islamophobia and fear of just like Muslim jihadists in the country as a camp, like a, a campaigning uh, talking point. And yeah. so that's also been kind of hilarious and, and it has a- added fuel. So we thought, oh my God, okay, this is not getting better. Uh, we should do something about it because the word Islam has just been sort of conflated with like uh, terrorist. It's like mm-hmm. totally devoid of any act- other actual meaning, which is actually it's just the name of a religion, one of the big three religions that also recognizes Jesus and all that stuff, and should actually have a lot more like synergy with the Christians and the Jews. It doesn't make sense that we wouldn't, yeah. et cetera. So we were like, um, you know, let's, let's shift the stereotype, let's change it, you know, from terrorists. Uh, to, to funny people, to hilarious, if you will. Oh, I said it, I said it out loud. And, um, and yeah, so that was like sort of the idea behind the tour and, and, and making it into a movie um, because, you know, the tour, you know, tours have this, this potential of like kind of living and then dying in that moment and the movie will, will make this um, effort kind of live on and then see more eyeballs and even more eyeballs and even more eyeballs until one day people just think Muslims are awesome. 
Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right, so you're going around to uh, you're going around to all these these different places in the south, and you're and you're implementing Sharia law there. Correct is what's happening. That's what's <laughs> that's what's going on. <laughs> You know what's funny is like we so like you know like I think mo most Americans don't think the Sharia law is 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 a thing. There, what, what we found is basically uh, a lot of people in America aren't actually hateful people. Like most people in America just aren't. There's some extreme few that really like hate Muslims and can't really explain why they just do. And mm -hmm. those people are not going to be helped by a tour like this, we're not going to be able to reach out to them. But, there, but, the, but, the, but the vast majority of people that are sort of like holding up the, you know, we don't like Muslims banner, don't actually hate Muslims. They're just uninformed. 